What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 episode. We're gonna speak to Micah right here. I think he's the last one we need in order to proceed here into this chapter. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No <clears throat> doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly, but you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <clears throat> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take it. I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. <clears throat> mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. <clears throat> Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my <laughs> friend. So much for being uh, brave, huh? Fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Yep. Let's do this. All right. Follow Micah then. Look, Let's Dutch. Then. I have a horse just as pretty as yours. Man, this horse is quick. Man, this should be interesting. Very interesting indeed. Very, very interesting. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes. Doubt <coughs> Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. I don't what did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it watch who out. knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch <coughs> walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. I don't really like Micah that much. I don't know. I just don't like him. He's one of those characters that just always got a slick mouth against the protagonist. Which in this case is us. Hey, 
Arthur. Up there. Man on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of him. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. <sighs> Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como O'Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right. <clears throat> All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right. All right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. All right. Let's go. Go to the observation position. I'm assuming it's up here. Okay. Keep going, then. All right, girl. All right. Why do I have a feeling this is going to go south? Oh God! What the hell is that, dude? This won't end well. Oh man! Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, I still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? sense <clears throat> handing him over to the lords i don't know strange times they killed seamus fuck the whole lot of them with this fella columns right we can draw them all back true where'd column and patrick head off to in a town i think to speak to the law that has to be crap it ain't worth the risk <clears throat> column's got a sense about vanderland he can play him 
Oh shit. Did I kill you? Oh my god. No, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Dude, what the hell is happening here? Finally! Put his weapons over there! talking about oh you lie my friend and i thought dutch preached truth let me go Cole, and end all this crap between you two we all got real problems now the way i see it they get him they forget about me they ain't the forgetting sword if i were you i'd run as soon as i had the money <laughs> Oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Now things are getting real, real good. You can swing on your shackles to reach the metal, the metal file. Swing around. All right. Oh man. Ah. Oh, this is rough. Heat. What? Insert. Position. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Jesus, that is gross. Throw some gunpowder on it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Burn it. Oh. Gotta raise the wound. Shoot your hole. 
Oh. I want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? <gasps> oh my god. Dude, this is freaking amazing right now. Oh crap. Get wrecked, noob. Throwing knife. <sighs> oh god. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Alright, here we go. There we go, baby. Alright. Revolver, we still don't have a revolver, right? Nope. Alright, potent bitters. Alright. How about over here? I'll get my horse. Oh shit. Leave the area on a horse. Hold on. Hold on. I just gotta get it. I gotta make sure that they are not coming this way. And if they are, gotta make sure that they're leaving. Alright, alright. Here we go. Oh crap, he's looking this way. Hold on. You know what? Oh, sh. There's so many of them, dude. Alright. Alright, where's my horse? Here we go. Return to Clem's Point. Alright. <laughs> Gotta make sure we don't get spotted now. Alright. Come on. Let's go around here. We got this. Everything is so fucking dark. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a massacre on our behalf. You guys will pay for this. You sons of bitches. Dude, we're borderline dead, man. It's kind of crazy. Oh, come on, girl. Get me home. Oh. Man, this. Yo. Oh, my goodness. So, like, nobody sees me here. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur? Arthur. Yeah, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. Well, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw. I need help! Damn, Reverend Swanson! He's gonna set the law on us! No, oh, of course he was! I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're uh, safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed! You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. Oh, I got you. You're safe Dear now. Dear God. Uh, that's pretty, it does. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw. Will you sit with him a while? Of course. He'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home.
See, now things are starting to get good, you know, like, that's what I'm talking about. Things are starting to be a little slow and shit. But now, that's when the action begins. All right, and I probably just want to say that we're probably going to have to move out of here again. Just saying. A few weeks later, this man's going to be uh, hairy as shit, I assume. I thought I'd be burying you. <laughs> Look at that beard. Oh. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Dude, look at that freaking beard. <sighs> look at his hair, you. <laughs> oh my god. The gang have replaced your stolen weapons. They are now on your saddle. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's, um, hold on. Let's, let's take a seat here. Huh? See how good this looks. Let me just think for a second before we go and your beard won't grow any longer unless you use hair tonic. Each use of hair tonic will allow your beard to grow a little bit longer. Well, so that is pretty much the maximum. Oh, that's a pretty thick beard. I like it. Dude probably smells like shit too. Do we have any hair tonic here? Um, I don't think so. Health tonics. Mm -mm. Dead eye tonics. We got nothing. Oh man, I don't want to drink that. Oh well. It is all good. All good, my friends. All good. Probably, uh, let's see, I'm, s my saddle, they said it was replaced on my saddle, right, so, we'll go look at that now. Let's see how far this next mission is. I don't know what's gonna happen now, this is actually very interesting, because that was a pretty significant, uh, turn of events there, to say the least. Where's this next mission? Oh, shit, it's all the way over there. Okay, well, uh, let's let's get on our horse and go over there, shall we? All right, dude, that was crazy. That was insane, bros. All right, so horse cargo. All right, we got a bunch of stuff here. Sultonics. Chewing tobacco, horse stimulant, cocaine gum, horse medicine. Alright. Ground beef. All these ingredients. Alright. I gotta sell all these things, dude. I have so much shit that I haven't sold. Alright. Thank you, girl, for bringing me back all home. Right. I appreciate you bringing me home, you know. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Let's get up out of here. Let's go to the next mission. Let's see what the hell we got to do over here. All right. Man, I knew something bad was going to happen there. I just knew it. I freaking knew it, man. I freaking knew it. Let's go. I'm actually really interested to see where the story takes takes us now, because again, that was a pretty crazy turn of events there. I thought we were probably gonna get caught and you know do the usual, which is fight it off with bullets and shit, win, and then come back to our camp and then do another mission or whatnot, but. Honestly, didn't think that uh, that was going to happen. I didn't think one bit that we were going to get kidnapped, captured, beaten up. 
and then cauterize our own wounds. That's some hardcore shit right there. That's some hardcore gangster stuff. Alright. Looks like uh roads and the uh you're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Bill Williamson. Man, we look like shit, dude. We look like somebody completely been different. Waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they were born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... That's more like it. That's more like it. Dude. They just fucking killed Sean, dude. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on one second. Oh my goodness, dude. So much for being part of the sheriff de deputy department. Huh? Enter the back of this gun store. Alright, let's go. Holy shit. Oh, what is that? Double barreled, double barreled shotgun. Nah, I'm good. Get your ass up. Break this. Come on, Morgan. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh shit! You're getting sloppy, Morgan. Do you see that window and Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about sloppy. Better in here, not there. All right, so what are we doing here? Are you sure about that? This is a bolt action rifle. I'm done. See Bill anywhere? Uh, no. Shit. You're dead now. This is 
some damn posse to graze round it up. We have to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. Make your face. Is this the best you fools got? You graze must be even tougher than I thought. Oh. See that? It's all over for you guys. Running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. And what about? Oh, I need to get a repeater, dude. Give me my repeater. Hey, we'll find them later. Come on. Yo, this game is getting Shut crazy up, now. Ray. You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Yeah. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Oh, okay. man. Don't do it. You know, we can't do that. You put the gun down, Chef. I'll blow his brains out. You want to. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> man. Sean is dead. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka! Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Yo, this this episode was freaking awesome, dude. Holy crap. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. Man. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Damn, dude. Roads in the surrounding area are now in lockdown. Remaining lawmen in the area will be looking for you. Oh. Look at this fucking gorgeous beard. All right. Well, let's let's go to Dutch. I love this game, dude. The story is getting so amazing right now. I've seen a lot. Not a lot. Some people complain about it being a little too slow, but I love it. And it's actually getting good. It's getting really good now. Let me pat my horse, man. It's been a good horse. Good boy. You're all right, girl. What's going on here? What just happened now? What seems to be the problem? Arthur, 
Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Oh, man. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will <coughs> kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh, shit. This is it, boys. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Oh shit, the whole gang is here, dude! Ooh! We have to figure out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, Another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. All right. All right, boys. Here it is. The whole gang is here. Holy crap. Woo. Holy crap, dude, this is scary as shit. right here first song now Jack we should have stayed out of all of this bit late for that ain't it quiet we're going to fix this right now like they don't know we're coming Arthur I'm going buddy are you coming or what we don't have all day come on let's get this done John you sure you're okay like I said I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. No oh, shit. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? <sighs> I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. Don, I need you to stay calm. Yo, this is terrifying. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land.
Whoa. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Hey, it is what it is, boys. We warned you. <laughs> the rest of you, watch out here for any other arrivals. Get wrecked, noobs. Hold on. Get in there! Find Jack! And find that brace weight woman! Jack! Jack, can you Jack, hear me? You in here? Jack, where are you, buddy? Come on! Get the hell out of here, you little son of a bitch. I ain't fucking around. Alright, let's go upstairs. Shit, might as well make this house our house, right? Dead eye. I ain't gonna miss. Ah! Ah! So good, I'm gonna watch you rock. Ah! Ah! Son of a bitch, yeah. That's right. Here you use little shitty torches. Do you're gonna do anything to us? I don't think so. Right, this is what I'm talking about, dude. This shit's getting good! Woo! Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need to take cover. I need some dead eye here. Hold on. I need me some dead eye, because I ain't nothing without that dead eye. Alright, well, you don't want me to take my little, my little remedies for dead eye? Little sons of bitches. Let's run away into that room. Come on, this must be it. Did you find another way in? All right, I'll find another way in. Kick this fucking door down. Watch out, Johnny boy. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Damn, you saw that aim, boys? 100% accuracy. You saw that shit? That was really bad. You little old bitch. You want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards. Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth 
All right, we get her out of here. What about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. Yo, this is crazy, dude. Poor Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! Dude, these people are cruel, man. <laughs> Our gang is fucking cruel. Yeah, shit. Savage. Put me down. Damn, Yankee. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> what are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Yo, this game is amazing. <laughs> oh, God. This has been an episode, and things are now starting to get a little spicy. That was awesome. It's going to work out, John. It's going to work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She, she'll kill us all. I know, but <laughs> looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no. Not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker. Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and 
murderers so that they might live in love? <sighs> Ain't that fine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Whoa. Are we going then? Follow me. I know the way. How far is this place? Holy crap. It looks like we're gonna migrate again. So that should be interesting. Alright. Let's let's go. Let's do this. Let's get up out of here. Little old John. Let's go. Try to keep up, Johnny boy. I got a really fast horse. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. All right. Return to John. Now, oh, come on now, John. Come on, move that ass. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Jose, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. Hold on, let me catch up. This is pretty much, um... John Marson just not liking the whole gang thing. And of course, in the first part, Red Dead 1, he's out of the gang. For these reasons. Should be just down this path to the left here. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. 
We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. This is where we robbed the guns with the Lenny. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. This is exactly where we left. Uh, we robbed the guns with, with with the Lenny, I believe. I think so. Yeah. This is that same house. Man. Oh fuck! I missed him. Still some here. I can see that. All right. All right, boys. All right. And playing old games here. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. Show yourselves. All right, let me take out the revolver. Come and find me then. Come on, you little scumbag. Right now, you Shut the hell up. Come out with your hands up. You can still walk out of here. Soon enough, you are some of the coward like you. Shut up. Who do you think you are? I'm an outlaw, baby. Boy, you ain't gonna live this through. What the hell? Is <laughs> Oops. Up there? Clear. I think we're clear. <laughs> Good. Come help me with this, will you? Think we're clear. Huh? Okay, we can't jump over this. Never mind. I'm going, Johnny. Going down just now. Well, this is as good a place as any. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Alright. Pick up the dead body. Alright. This fella's getting heavy. Follow me. Let's go. This way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. So dump the body in the swamp or on the jetty. Fuck it. Why not? Well, this is probably the best place yet. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. Alright, see you soon. I hope. Pick up another body from the house. All right. Where's the other body? Another dead body right here. So we got to clear out the entire house from dead bodies. Oh, I think that that body's upstairs actually. There was one here. Well, it's not here anymore. Okay, that's kind of weird. Guessing they're all upstairs. Okay. Well, we'll loot them. And as we loot them, we'll pick them up. Horse medicine. Alright. Dump the body in the swamp. Around the jetty. Do I really have to do this? Is there a little shortcut through here or something? No shortcut. Uh, how about here? Nope. Ah, uh, this is tedious. Okay. Literally have to dump all the freaking bodies, bro. Like, come on. I mean, I know we're going for realism here, but damn, bro. Give me a break. My man's is tired. I really don't know how much longer we're going to last here, by the way. <sighs> Alright, maybe not. Welcome home, all of you, to uh, my humble abode. We got fine living. 
You know the corpses in the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. All right. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? Few loose ends, nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. What is this? What in God's name is this? Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. <laughs> exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. We are in St. Denise now, officially a new chapter. New horses are available to purchase in the Scarlet Meadows and St. Denise stables. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, this was uh, rather an interesting episode indeed. Super excited for what's to come and in the future of our Red Dead Redemption story. Damn. This episode was good. I had a lot of fun. Anyways, thank you again. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the beginning of chapter 4.